Hello guys, I'm Gabriel from the NIP Embedded team and today we are going to create a smart battery using a laptop battery PCB from scratch. By the end of this video you will know exactly how it works and how to build one by yourself. Let's get started. Why do I want to create a smart battery? Because it contains a performant Ghost Ghost chip from Texas Instruments which computes very efficiently the state of charge and the state of health aka wear level. And all battery parameters can be accessed over SIMA bus protocol. We are going to use the NLBA1 device in order to see the battery parameters. What are we going to need? An old PCB from an old battery. Today I'm using a, a very old PCB from Texas Instruments with a BQ2084 chip. We are also going to need some. Uh, some genuine cells made by Ten Power, a, a few wires, and some uh, some cell holders uh, like this. These are the cell holders. That's it. Everything else is up to us. We are going to start by checking the internal resistance of these cells. We are going to use uh, this device that can uh, can check the internal resistance. Go and power it on. I hope you see very clearly. And we are going to check now the cells waiting yes uh, the internal resistance of the cells is 11.6 milliohms it's a very good internal resistance the next one the cells should be balanced and have almost the same internal resistance look 11.8 very good. Eleven point seven. Very good. The cells are very well balanced and have the same internal resistance. We don't need this uh, this thing anyway. The pack we are going to make it's three series, one parallel type. So the battery pack voltage will be 11 volts and it will have a capacity of 115 milliamperes. Now we are going to weld the cells together. I will use a spot welder and some nickel 0.20 millimeter strips to connect them safely. This is our spot welder. And this is our nickel strip of 0.1 millimeter. I'm going to use these things in order to to put the cells together. Uh, the battery uh, will need to be placed in series, so we put uh, minus here, minus is down. Next to the minus, we're gonna have plus. And now next to the plus, we're gonna have minus. So the cells are now placed to be soldered in series yeah let's start uh, soldering the, the cells together we're gonna measure exactly here and we uh, need a scissor to cut the, the piece I 
think it's too big. That's very, very good. I'm gonna start the, this machine. It's very easy to use. Just place one probe here. And the second one, and we'll solder. Now we are going to make another solder, and here the same. Let's order these cells. Alright. Like this. And I'm going to need to solder some strips right here on this cell and on this cell to connect the battery. But I need to see where is the minus. This is the minus to see how I'm gonna place the battery. Like this. <laughs> so I'm gonna cut a very little strip. And I need a strip that comes right like this. Like this. finished. Let's uh, power off this uh... The sales pack is now ready. Next, I'll sort of some wires from the PCB to the sales. Let's start. Here we got the minus. We're gonna connect the minus to the to the v, VG like V ground, you know. So let's solder the wires. We have here the wires. Uh, we're gonna put some liquid uh, liquid flux, and we're gonna need some uh, solder wire. It's very important to 
to solve that vessels very carefully because they have uh, very high voltage and you if you do a short you can damage the cells very easily now let's solder the wires directly to the PCB the PCB will come like this because we need that uh, thermistor to be on uh, on one cell to check the temperature of the cell and if the temperature is uh, too high the chip will get locked solder exactly here very nice solder this is the first cell this is the second one Be very careful to not make a short, to not touch these contacts. Very, very careful. This wire will come like this, and I'm gonna solder it right on this pin, the second one. Very good. The next wire it will come from here. Carefully to not touch those contacts. Very good. And now the last wire will come from the last cell. And I will solder right here. And this is now our battery. Let's slide some heat conductive tubing over the cells to keep them safe. We got here some heat conductive tubing. Let's put the battery cells inside. Now the second one will come like that.
and that's our final battery now I will connect the battery to the NLBA device to analyze it the chip needs to be reprogrammed to reflect the new cells I will change the capacity cycle count and data let's connect the battery I will use the type of, of connector I already know the pinout let's connect it Let's see on the software what we have. Start reading. Look, our battery has been read successfully. Now, let's go to the reset tab and change the parameters that we need to change. First, we're going to unseal. And it's very important to read the apron first. We need to save it to a file. Now let's change these uh, parameters. The battery needs to be unsealed, and it is. As data, we're going to use today's data. Cycles is going to be zero. And the FCC is going to be 150 milliampere hour. We're going to write the data. Data has been writing successfully. Let's see if the pattern matrix has been changed. And yes, the full charge capacity has been changed. The cycle count has been changed and the manufacturer data has been changed. Oh no. Yes, the manufacturer data has been changed. Now let's try to charge the battery. Yes, I think the battery charged very well. Let's see now if the battery discharge. And yes, the current goes down. Now I will do a sales check to see how uh, what health that the cells have. The cells are very very good and it has a very low internal resistance. And that's how you create a smart battery using an useless PCB with high performance gas gauge chip. No need to buy cheap Chinese BMS which have no gas gauge chip and poor protection. This battery can be used on wide range of applications like power banks, water pumps, LED power source and many more that's uh, was our video for today i hope you liked it please write in comments what you want to see next bye